uh, right now I want to share uh, some surprises with you. This is from the Sierra Club, and it shows that there have been some victories in the last year, or in the last years, uh, that we need to celebrate in terms of the environment, and uh, stay active and demand more change. Uh, don't let the whoever's in charge next year continue to degrade our environment, and instead really work to make the world a better place for our children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren, etc., to live in. Um, Let's see, the 2020 victories are, number one, they passed uh, the Great American Outdoor Act after years of advocacy on our part. Congress overwhelmingly based, passed this historic bipartisan legislation that permanently funds the Land and Water Conservation Fund and raises almost $10 billion to cut into the $13 billion maintenance backlog in our national parks. Remarkably, just two years ago, the whole program was in limbo. Now, thanks to our strong efforts, the program is fully and permanently funded and will raise and spend $900 million a year in perpetuity. Pretty good news, huh? Uh, number two, continue to retire uh, dirty coal power plants. Just 10 years ago, half of America's electricity came from coal. Today, only 20% does. Um, it's a drastic decline that is saving lives despite Trump administration's efforts to bend the rules to uh, help uh, keep power, coal power plants online. For Florida, Indiana, Colorado, we are winning the fight to stop burning coal, and we will continue this critical battle, they say, in 2021. Number three, thwarted seismic work and lease sales in Arctic National Wildlife Refuge. Ever since Congress passed legislation, Opening up the refugee, refuges sensitive coastal plain, the Trump administration has pulled out all stops to make drilling happen as soon as possible. Despite the huge risk to the unique character of this wilderness area, to the climate and to the communities who live there. Yet through efforts, uh, we've seen uh, the court cases and uh, little critical groundwork has been laid to stop and permanently protect these properties. And we say that uh, Trump's not in charge next year. Number four, uh, stopped construction on Keystone XL tar sands pipeline and celebrated the determination of the polluting Atlantic Coast pipeline. Together, that's miles of unnecessary and risky fossil fuel pipelines that were halted, protecting communities of waterways and our climate. And by stopping the construction of additional fossil fuel infrastructure, uh, we're increasing the opportunity for renewable energy to take place, which we definitely need. Uh, number five, uh, halted a massive logging project in the Tongass National Forest. On Prince of Wales Island in southeast Alaska, majestic megatrees that are key to combating climate change have been protected from chainsaws after a federal judge rejected a sweeping logging plan that would have spanned a project area of 1.8 million acres in Tongass National Forest. The old growth forest of the Tongass provides key habitat for the area's diverse array of wildlife and supports sustainable recreational opportunities. So this is a great win. Number six, uh, launched a new anti-gas power plant campaign. In 2020, uh, Sierra Club launched a new campaign to stop uh, new fracked gas power plants from being built. Gas plants across the country have already stopped and stopped several, uh, like in Arizona, to utilities have been postponed. In New Mexico and Colorado, utilities will replace retiring coal plants with clean energy, rejecting new gas plants. Half of the gas plants proposed by a Virginia utility were also dropped from their plans this year. Uh, number seven, defended clean emissions standards for vehicles. Um, while we defend against Trump administration's evisceration of federal and state clean car standards, we have also been able to make a tangible progress in some key areas of transportation policy, including California's rec uh, creation of the first advanced clean truck standard in the nation, which will slash diesel pollution by accelerating the electric truck market to 100% by 2045. We also succeeded in convincing Lyft to commit to an all-electric ride program by 2030. Amazing. I think we should also have hydrogen programs here in the States. It's uh, past due. Uh, expanded solar and wind market share. 
Despite the serious disruptions to supply chains, tax equity markets and consumer demand caused by the pandemic, 2020 is still on track to be another record year for solar and wind energy in the U.S. For the first time in our history, energy generation from wind and solar surpassed coal in April, and nearly a gigawatt of utility scale wind and solar were added the same month. We see another 30 GW of renewables currently under construction and due to come online before 2022. Number nine, headed off uh, the listing grizzly bears in the Yellowstone region. The Ninth Circuit Court sided with the CR Club and their allies in July and affirmed a 2018 lower court decision that reinstated an Endangered Species Act um, protections for the Yellowstone region's grizzly bears. There are only about 700 grizzly bears in the three-state region and they face ongoing threats, including shrinking habitat, changing food sources due to climate change and geographic isolation. Sierra Club has been a leader in protecting grizzly bears and their habitat in the Yellowstone region for many years, and this was another great victory. Well, I'm glad I support Sierra Club. Um, please find some group to support, like uh, the Defenders, Wildlife Defender. Uh, number 10, beat the Trump administration in court 88% of the time. <laughs> Mr. Go to court Trump, losing that often, costing a lot of taxpayers money, I think. Our legal team has been relentless as we have challenged the administration in court and our track record has been outstanding. By working with our partners in the conservation space, we have achieved victory after victory and stopped some of the Trump team's most devastating attacks. That's good. Now, we've covered these uh, 10 points of victories in 2020. Now, let's see what um, Sierra Club's doing in the next uh, year. In 2021, what are the challenges? Number one, expand climate justice. We need to push America to reenter the Paris Climate Accord, adopt tough new regulations and laws, and drive a rapid transition to 100% clean energy with an equity and justice lens. Many parts of the country and far too many people continue to suffer disproportionately from air quality problems like smog and soot uh, pollution, of course. Ensuring those voices are heard through our powerful partnerships is a critical step toward improving health and making the climate more sustainable. So explain, expand climate justice at all levels. I think especially the poorer communities need to be supported. Number two, restore all national monuments lands to full protection. The last four years have been the worst ever for our public lands and waters. Protections have been removed from more lands than have been protected, including a reduction in the size of two national monuments by more than two million acres combined. We will make it an immediate and urgent priority to restore the boundaries and protections afforded these lands through previous legal designations under the Antiquities Act and to prevent any presidents from attempting to put our public lands into private hands again. Number three, challenges again in 2021. And the injustice along the southern border, including the construction of the border wall. The partial construction of a wall and the inhumane treatment of people who attempted to cross the border are an affront to decency and American values. The building of this wall also poses a significant threat to migratory wildlife species, butterflies especially. Number four, challenge in 2021. Restore the commitment to environmental enforcement, mm -hmm. uh, environmental justice, and science-based policy in the EPA. Never again can the Environmental Protection Agency serve the purposes of polluters to the detriment of the American people. We must restore integrity and purpose to our environmental laws and policies by promoting democratic access, transparency, and justice. Number five, end all new fossil fuel leasing developments and fracking on our public lands and waters. Protect our vulnerable wetlands and ancient forest. We need to ex educate our children about this too. Fossil fuels extracted from public lands are responsible for greenhouse gas emissions equal to 25% of our total national emissions. And this has only been exacerbated by Trump's administration's willingness to offer up more than 5 million acres of public lands to the fossil fuel industry. In addition, we must protect and restore our wetlands and old growth forests, including the aforementioned uh, Tongass 
National Forest, which are, are the quickest and easiest method of drawing CO2 out of the atmosphere. Uh, number six, advocate for 30, 30, um, 30 by 30. Achieving permanent protection for 30% of America's land and water by 2030 may be the most important single action we can take to prevent widespread wildlife extinction and to ensure continued health and sustainability of our natural systems. Our work, uh, or Sierra Club's work to lead America to the 30 by 30 target will energize and inspire conservation action as we build a movement that embodies the values and principles of a more expansive conserva conservation ethic. Number seven, uh, move quickly to regulate or ban harmful chemicals. In recent years, toxins that have been approved and promoted by the Trump administration, including PFAS, methylene chloride, chloripyrifos, and other toxic pesticides. These chemicals harm not only human health, but also the safety of our air and water. This is our time to stop ongoing uses of these and other harmful chemicals and to knit back together our fragmented environmental laws to ensure we don't have to face a similar crisis in the future. Number eight, restore and enforce federal authority to protect all U.S. waterways. Uh, America's wetlands remain extremely vulnerable to development, extreme weather, and the climate crisis, yet they are needed more than ever as a climate-driven weather event continues to grow in frequency and force. We need strong federal laws to ensure that our wetlands and the wildlife and the communities that depend on them continue to sustain our world. Number nine, expand clean energy production and use. For more than a decade, the Sierra Club and other groups have been leading the expansion of clean, green energy in America, but we have much more to do. We must stop new plants fired by dirty fossil fuels and support the expansion of America's sustainable energy infrastructure and distribution, including power sourced from wind and solar. Uh, we have to be very imaginative and creative and, and try new solutions that will last in the long term to be sustainable. Uh, number 10, ensure children can get outdoors and heal from trauma caused by the pandemic. The COVID-19 pandemic has an exacerbated inequities when it comes to nature access. Black, Latinx, and Asian communities are most likely to live in nature-deprived communities, and even this limited access to nature has been curtailed dramatically due to pandemic, especially for our children. We need to expand access to the outdoors while ensuring more voices are heard in settling this, uh, setting this nation's environmental policies and increasing the diversification of membership in organizations like Sierra Club. All right, uh, that's a mouthful I know, but I suggest you watch the video more than once and uh, realize there is hope. Uh, there were some things that we got done in 2020 and in 2021, we want to do even more. All right. Uh, I hope you like this channel and subscribe and become a member of the Kevin Stoddy channel and uh, have a good day. Get out and be active in our world to make it a better place for our children, our grandchildren, our great grandchildren and you. All right. Take care.